In this lesson, I'll introduce you to two terms which will help you understand some of the other benefits of cloud computing and one term in particular that really defines the benefit of cloud versus on-premises computing environments. And those two terms are CapEx versus OpEx. These are two terms that might be familiar to you if you have a business background or an accounting background or if you've spent some time uh, reading about uh, companies, following the stock market, things like that. But if you're not familiar, CapEx refers to capital expenditures, and that is spending on physical infrastructure up front and then taking tax depreciation over time. So if you can touch it, put your hand on it, and it's in your building, including the building itself, it probably is a capital expenditure. An OPEX is an operational expenditure. Now, this can include the building if you're renting the building, but if you buy the building, it's a capital expenditure. But OPEX is spending on day-to-day -day business activity. Another very simplified way to think about it, like if you're in the industry I am, I'm in the electric car industry, and a capital expenditure would be the factory that builds the vehicles, and an operational expenditure would be the people who build the vehicles who work in the factory. So you need to pay salaries day to day, but you only need to build the building one time and build the assembly line one time. So that's the difference between CapEx and OpEx. Now, in terms of how that relates to cloud computing, the one you need to be most familiar with is OpEx. And to understand that, let's first compare it to some CapEx expenditure when it comes to a computing infrastructure. So CapEx are fixed expenses, as I mentioned just a moment ago. So those would include the server, storage, network, and backup. Anything that you own in an on-premises data center is going to be a fixed one-time expense that your accounting department can depreciate over time. Now, Microsoft also mentions technical personnel, but I have an asterisk by this because that's not necessarily the case. It just kind of depends on if they are an upfront expense, those technical personnel of getting you set up, or if they're an ongoing expense. If you need Azure administrators working full-time at your company, then those Azure administrators become operational expenses, not capital expenses. But that's a that's a rather nuanced uh, definition, and I don't think, because it's such a kind of a, an accounting concern rather than a computing concern, I don't think you'll get anything uh, that mentions people, the technical personnel, uh, anything like that coming up on the exam. This is the one that is most important for you to be familiar with, the operational expenditures when it comes to cloud computing and the advantages that turning computing CapEx into OpEx provides a business. So for one, you're just leasing the software, you're paying for scaling charges as you scale up or scale out. So those are the expenses that are attributed or associated with operational expenses. And the big advantage it gives most businesses is that it lets that business be agile. So agile in this context here is the ability to change the IT infrastructure as business needs change. What's more, the billing can be done at the user level or at the organizational level. And what that refers to is the ability to group up the resources that you are renting from your cloud provider and then say, I have a budget for this department, I have a budget for that department, and I can allocate my budget accordingly. So besides the big picture takeaways of being able to have a clear definition of what CapEx is versus OpEx, the big takeaway is that you understand that the OpEx provides the advantage to an organization to be agile in its IT needs and its IT spending. Keep those couple of thoughts in mind and you'll be in great shape.